in the book of Joshua chapter 22 in the King James Version. Then Joshua called the Reubenites and the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manasseh and said unto them, Ye have kept all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, and have obeyed my voice in all that I commanded you. Ye have not left your brethren these many days unto this day, but have kept the charge of the commandment of the Lord your God. And now the Lord your God hath given rest unto your brethren, as he promised them. Therefore now return ye, and get you unto your tents, and unto the land of your possession, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave you on the other side, Jordan. But take diligent heed to do the commandment of the law, which Moses the servant of the Lord charged you to love the Lord your God, and to walk in all his ways, and to keep his commandments and to cleave unto him, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. So Joshua blessed them and sent them away, and they went unto their tents. Now to the one half of the tribe of Manasseh, Moses had given possession in Bashan, but unto the other half thereof gave Joshua among their brethren on this side Jordan westward. And when Joshua sent them away also unto their tents, then he blessed them. And he spake unto them, saying, Return with much riches unto your tents, and with very much cattle, with silver, and with gold, and with brass, and with iron, and with very much rement. Divide the spoil of your enemies with your brethren. And the children of Reuben, and the children of Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh returned and departed from the children of Israel out of Shiloh which is in the land of Canaan, to go unto the country of Galeed, to the land of their possession, whereof they were possessed according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. And when they came unto the borders of Jordan that are in the land of Canaan, the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh built there an altar by Jordan, a great altar to see to, and the children of Israel heard say, Behold, the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh have built an altar over against the land of Canaan and the borders of Jordan at the passage of the children of Israel. And when the children of Israel heard of it, the whole congregation of the children of Israel gathered themselves together at Shiloh to go up to war against them. And the children of Israel sent unto the children of Reuben and to the children of Gad, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, and into the land of Gilead, Phinehas, the son of Eliezer, the priest, and with him ten princes of each chief house, a prince throughout all the tribes of Israel, and each one was an head of the house of their fathers among the thousands of Israel. And they came unto the children of Reuben, and to the children of Gad, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, and to the land of Gilead. And they spake with them, saying, Thus saith the whole congregation of the Lord, What trespass is this that ye have committed against the God of Israel to turn away this day from following the Lord, and that ye have builded you an altar, that ye might rebel this day against the Lord? Is the iniquity of Peor too little for us, from which we are not cleansed until this day? Although there was a plague in the congregation of the Lord, but that ye must turn away this day from following the Lord, and it be, and it will be, seeing ye rebel today against the Lord, that tomorrow he will be wroth with the whole congregation of Israel. Notwithstanding, if the land of your possession be unclean, then pass ye over unto the land of the possession of the Lord, wherein the Lord's tabernacle dwelleth. And take possession among us, but rebel not against the Lord, nor rebel against us, in building you an altar beside the altar of the Lord our God. Did not Achan, the son of Zerah, commit a trespass in the accursed thing, and wrath fell on all the congregation of Israel, and that man perished not alone in his iniquity? Then the children of Reuben, and the children of Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh answered, and said unto the heads of the thousands of Israel, the Lord God of gods, the Lord God of gods, he knoweth. In Israel he shall know if it be in rebellion or if in transgression against the Lord. Save us not this day that we have built us an altar to turn from following the Lord or if to offer thereon burnt offering or meat offering or if to offer peace offerings thereon. Let the Lord himself require it. 
And if we have not rather done it for fear of this thing, saying, in time to come, your children might speak unto our children, saying, what have ye to do with the Lord God of Israel? For the Lord hath made Jordan a border between, uh, between us and you, ye children of Reuben and children of Gad. Ye have no part in the Lord, so shall your children make your chil our children cease from fearing the Lord. Therefore we said, Let us now prepare to build us an altar, not for burnt offering, nor for sacrifice, but that it may be a witness between us and you and our generations after us, that we might do the service of the Lord before him with our burnt offerings and with our sacrifices and with our peace offerings, that your children may not say to our children in time to come, Ye have no part in the Lord. Therefore said we, that it shall be when they should so say to us or to our generations in time to come that we may say again behold the pattern of the altar of the lord which our fathers made not for burnt offerings nor for sacrifices but it is a witness between us and you god forbid that we should rebel against the lord and turn this day from following the lord to build an art altar for burnt offerings for meat offerings or for sacrifices beside the altar of the Lord our God that is before his tabernacle and when Phinehas the priest and the princes of the congregation and the, and heads of the thousands of Israel which were with him heard the words that the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the children of Manasseh spake it pleased them and Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest said unto chil the children of Reuben and the children of Gad or into the children of Gad and to the children of Manasseh this day we perceive that the Lord is among us because ye have not committed this trespass against the Lord now ye have delivered the children of Israel out of the hand of the Lord and Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest and the princes returned from the children of Reuben and from the children of Gad out of the land of Gilead unto the land of Canaan to the children of Israel and brought them word again and the thing pleased the children of Israel and the children of Israel blessed God and did not intend to go up against them in, in battle to destroy the land wherein the children of Reuben and Gad dwelt and the children of Reuben and the children of Gad called the altar Ed for it shall be a witness between us that the Lord is God okay huge amount of sermons here lots of information there are three huge major points in here and I believe one of them we talked about let me just tell you about this one that's just it, it needs to be said it needs to be said because similar things are gonna happen in the Old Testament and the New Testament listen to this <clears throat> verse 28 therefore said we that it shall be when they should say to us or to our children or to our generations in time to come that we may say again behold the pattern of the altar of the Lord which our fathers made not for burnt offerings nor sacrifices but it is a witness between us and you okay point one sometimes and, and this also goes to many different things when it comes to our walks with the Lord Sometimes you may be determined that there is a certain way, there's a certain pattern, there's a certain thing that leads you closer to Christ. Okay, absolutely. As long as it's following the Holy Spirit, wonderful. Pray, bless All blessings and praise. That same thing, though, may not be exactly what somebody else needs to do for their life. Thus, you, with your thoughts and feelings, may bring prejudgment, which we talked about in the previous Bible study, first impressions, and end up causing unnecessary conflict. Now, the children of Israel did what was right. They were seeking the Lord. They got together, and they were like, why are the people on the other side, Jordan, building this altar when there's only supposed to be one? So they got together. They prayed about it. And they went to the people and asked them themselves and the two and a half tribes told them the reason they wanted to make sure because they had also prayed about it they had also thought about this long and hard and said you know what we don't want throughout time because you know humans us humans <laughs> i'm a human right here witness we have short-term memories 
<laughs> Especially when it comes to things. We're, I, I feel like we, in terms, can still be like infants. You know, um, once you please an infant, they're happy. And they don't necessarily remember that they were screaming and crying, right? Same with us to this day. Wow, right? <laughs> and so thinking about that, you can see that there's also a pattern in that also understanding that not all things are leading astray or leading someone astray. It just may be a little bit different or it may be something that you don't see or you don't understand because the Lord hasn't revealed it to you yet. Did you go to the Lord? Did you ask him for revelation about what's going on, how you feel about a certain situation or a certain group of people or a person, a loved one, your peer, your, your uh, significant other, spouse, etc., your child, your parent, we all have, I know, right? <laughs> we all have paths in life. They, although they all lead to the same when, when we believe in Christ, eternal life, there may be some differences. So the best thing to do is rely on the Lord and not to immediately say, you know, let lightning and thunder and, and fire come down and, and, and take vengeance out when it's the Lord. The Lord's already in control. So the Lord already knows whether or not it's for him or against him. Rely on the Lord. Before we go on to point number two, though, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind? When we read over this, how does it make you feel and what does it make you think? 